Excellent. So welcome to MuscleBird. My name is Sam McCarthy. I'll be your instructor today. So MuscleBird is going to be all strength. It's not a high impact cardio based workout. It's just focusing on building some strength as best we can with the equipment that we have at home. Uh, if you have dumbbells, great, have those around. If you don't have any weights or dumbbells at home, anything heavy that you can hold in your hand will work just as fine. So water bottles, cans of food, uh, jugs of water, uh, paint cans, whatever the heck is available. Uh, so grab those. I have a mat behind me too, or a towel if you want something more comfortable to lay on, but that's not necessary. Uh, you can just lay straight on your floor. So we'll start with the warm up, and then we'll go into our workout for tonight, which is going to be a three, two, one, four mat. Um, it's one of my favorites. And class is going to be about 45-ish minutes or so with warm up and cool down, okay? So we should be finishing up by 5.15 or 6.15, 6.20, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So find a spot um, on the floor to move around. And let's just start by marching in place, okay? So just march in place. If you want to take it up a notch, you're going to jog in place, okay? So just jog in place. That's a little bit higher impact. If you want a little bit lower impact, stay in that march and just stay there. The goal is just to bring that heart rate up a little bit, loosen things up a little. All right. Now, from this pose, let's go ahead and just roll those shoulders back, roll them back, big circles, loosen that tension, especially if you sat at a desk all day long at home working and reverse it. Roll it forward. Good, and drop those shoulders down. Just bring it back into that run, but now, or march, now let's bring that heel right up to your butt. So kicking your bum here, really getting the backside and your hamstrings here. And you can always be just in the march, lower impact. Great, feel that backside warming up. Your heel might not get to your butt, but just as close as you can. Great. Give me four, three, two, and one. Now let's bring knee up into the chest and switch other side. Knee to the chest and switch. Okay, you're staying nice and tall here, chest up. Don't slouch down, okay? Keep the chest high, abs tight. Go at your own pace here. You can go with me, you can go with music if you have some on, or you can just go with what your body is feeling right now. Good, keep it going. Pull those knees up, 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 up. Give me four, three, two, one. We're gonna switch this to a straight leg kick. A straight leg kick to warm up that backside, okay? So straight leg kick, not like a kickboxing kick. I want you to go through the heel and right through that backside. Just feeling that stretch. Again, your leg doesn't have to go too high. Just feel the stretch. At your own pace, we're gonna go for count eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it right back into that march or your jog in place. That heart rate should be starting to come up a little bit. Temperature's going up a little bit. Great. Now we're gonna bump it up a notch. We're gonna do some jumping jacks. We're gonna take it out and in, out and in, modification, out and in, just like this. Awesome. Good. Now let's really focus. Bring that heart rate up. Good. Stay here. Great. Give me another count of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to go skater side to side, warming up those lateral muscles, your butt, your hips. Good. I want you to stay nice and low to the ground, as low as you can. Now, I'm adding a little hop. You can always just go side to side for lower impact. Okay? Whatever works for you right now. Good. Let's do a few more here. We're going to go back into those jumping jacks in four, three, two, one. Let's do it. Take it up, jumping jacks. Great. Nice. Hold on to it. A few more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now let's squeeze. 
squat. You're going to take it down and bring it up. Take it down and up. Good. A nice strong squat here. Might not be full range of motion yet if we're just warming up, but that's okay. Just do what your body lets you do. If you're feeling pain, you're going too far, so don't go as low. Okay? A little baby squat here is fine. You're still working. Okay? Good. Hold on to it for four, three, two, and one. We're going to hold it and pulse right at the bottom for a count of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up nice and tall. We're going to step back into a lunge and bring it in. Step back, other leg. So alternating legs here into a reverse lunge. Again, keep that chest nice and tall. Don't slouch down. Abs are engaged. Perfect. You're sinking right down the middle of your legs. Nice. Good. Let's do one more per side. And let's go ahead, bring it nice and wide. Side lunges, last one. We're going to go side to side here. Toes, knees, and hips all pointing forward. Okay, towards the screen or wherever forward is for you. Good. As low as you can. The goal here is, to, again, to warm up those lateral muscles, but feel a nice stretch in that inner thigh as well. One leg is bent, one leg is straight. Good. Two more per side. And let's go ahead, step it in, take a big inhale, reach those arms up and overhead. Exhale, drop them down, and just shake it out a little bit. Awesome work, guys. So we should be feeling a little bit warmer now. So... Let me explain what our workout's going to look like today. Three, two, one workout, like I told you before. Three minutes of legs. We do two exercises during that three minutes. Then we're going to do two minutes of upper body and then one minute of abs. We repeat that circuit twice. Then we'll rest and we'll go into a new circuit of exercises. So your first few exercises, okay, we're going to start. Dumbbells if you have them. If you don't have them, that's okay. You can do one or you can do two to make it a little bit harder. I'm just going to do one, okay, to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see. Wide stance sumo squat, okay, so toes turned out. We're going to sumo squat at the top, kick, squat, kick, squat, kick. So we're going to work our hips and our butt a lot on that one, okay. So we're going to spend some time on one leg, then we'll switch. We'll do some time on the other leg. And then your second uh, leg exercise is going to be a squat with the front kick. Again, you're going to have the dumbbell right at your chest or no weight at all. Feet are now right underneath your hips, okay? Squat, kick. Squat, kick, okay? Then for your upper body, no weights whatsoever. We're going to come down into a push-up position, okay? It's a push-up leg lift. Push up, other leg lift, okay? Then we're going to flip it over for some tricep dips. So hands behind you, butt comes up off the floor, tricep dips. And then we finish with some Russian twists, going side to side. Those are your exercises. Three, two, and one. You guys ready? Let's go ahead and get it going. So start one heavy dumbbell in hand. We're doing that sumo squat, side kick, going in three, two, and one, let's do it. So wide stance, sumo squat, kick, sumo squat, kick, stay on the same leg, okay? Same leg is kicking out to the side. Nice wide stance, good. Doesn't matter how high the leg goes, just feel it right in the hips, right in the butt area. Good, good. Hold it here for another 20 seconds, and then we're gonna switch legs same exercise. Woo! Nice and wide, guys. Come on, work those inner thigh muscles. Very good. Give me a few more reps. Push, push. Three, two, and one. Let's switch. Kick that other leg. Kick, squat, kick. Nice wide stance. As wide as you can go. You got this, guys. Woo! Breathing through it. Oh, yeah, feeling that burn? You should be. You should be really feeling it in that butt and that hip muscle. 
Good, area that many of us are very weak in. Okay, you're doing great. We've got 15 seconds left on this side. Good. Last couple of reps. We're going to switch to that squat and front kick. So legs come in a little bit more narrow, right underneath the hips. And here we go. Let's switch it up. So feet right underneath the hips. Squat, kick front. Squat, kick front, opposite leg. So this time we are alternating legs. And we're doing this for 90 seconds, my friends. So keep it strong. Now notice the kick here is more of a kickboxing kick. The leg comes up first, then the foot kicks out. Squat, kick, squat, kick. Woo! Come on, you got it, guys. Push through it. Push. Nice. Hang in there. Hang on. Woo, a little less than a minute to go. See how you guys are doing. All doing good. Okay, great. Keep moving. Keep doing those squats. Come on, burn up those legs. Remember, it's all upper body and abs after this. So feel the burn now. Then we'll give those legs a rest. You got this. I know it's tough. We're going to get there together. Woo! Sit back into the heels, butt back, abs tight. Don't slouch. Keep it tall. 15 seconds to go. You can do this. Just a few more squats. Fight through it. Last five, four, three, two, and one. We're going down to our mat. Push up. So one push up and then a leg lift, okay? So it looks like this. Push up, lift one leg. One push up, other leg lift. Push up, lift, push up, and lift. So you're just staying like that. Keep your body nice straight line. If you need to be on your knees, that's perfectly fine. Push up, lift, push up, lift. There you go, guys. Come on, you got it. It's only one minute here. Just one minute. We can do that. 20 seconds to go. Oh, come on, hold on, hold on. Get ready to go into some tricep dips. In three, two, and one. You're going to flip yourself over. Okay, flip yourself over. You're on your bum, fingertips facing your butt. Lift that butt up off the ground. Now bend at the elbows. It's a very small movement, guys. It's not very big, okay, but it's effective. It doesn't have to be a big movement to be effective. Woo! Good. You need to take a rest. Take a rest, okay? Now remember, it comes from the elbow. It's not this, okay? We're not working our triceps doing this. Okay, we're bending at the elbows. If that's too tough for you, okay, you can either just hold it here, or if you have a small weight, you can do an overhead tricep extension if it's a little too much on your shoulders, okay? Whatever works for you guys. Hang on, I know, I know it's tough. 10 seconds. We're going to go right into that core exercise next. Woo! You need four, three, two, and one. Butt on the floor, legs up. If you want to make it challenging, you're going to rotate side to side. Slow and controlled. Drop your legs down to make it a little bit easier. If the rotation is too much, put your hands behind you and just hold it here, engaging the abs. Excellent, guys. Hang on. Deep breaths. You're about halfway there. It's kind of like a little break for the legs and the arms, not for the core. Firing up the core here. Get ready to go into legs again. Going back into our three minutes of squat, starting with that sumo squat with the side kick. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Let's peel ourselves up off the ground. Grab that one weight if you're using it. Set it up nice and wide. 
sumo squat kick. Sumo squat kick. Remember, we stay on one leg, one leg at a time. I'll tell you when to switch and do the other leg, but I want you to feel that burn. I want you to fire up that one hip and glute area. <sighs> Breathing. Take breaks, get water when you need to. You don't have to wait until we finish up the circuit. It's your workout. You're at home, nobody can see you. So it doesn't matter to me what you're doing as long as you're being safe. Woo! Last few seconds on this side. Give me four, three, two, and one. Other side, squat, kick. Oh yeah, you feel that burn? I bet you are. A little harder on this side. So we already worked our opposite leg, our standing leg. A little bit harder. Come on, you got this guy. Stay with me here. Keep that nice wide stance. Now, when you're kicking that foot out, don't point your toes. My dancers out there, don't point the toes. Lead with the heel. Push that heel out to the side. I know I'm a dancer, gymnast background as well, so I want to point my toes, but that's not what we're doing here. Okay, lead with the heel. Last few seconds, and we're going to go ahead and switch feet right underneath the hips. Squat, front kick now. Squat, front kick. Okay, it's more of that kickboxing kick. Okay, leg comes up first, then the foot kicks out. Sit back into those heels, chest up. Keep the abs engaged. Woo! 90 seconds here. This one should bring your heart rate up a little bit. Okay, if you're not using a weight or if it's getting to be too much, just drop it down. Keep those hands in front of you. If you want to add a little punch, add a little punch. Okay? Good. Nice job. Keep it moving. You got this, guys. More than halfway there. About 30 seconds to go. Push, push. Remember, we're done with legs for a little while after this bout. Just give me about 15 seconds and we'll work that upper body. Almost there, almost there. Woo! Last four, three, two, one. Let's bring it down to that push up. So, one push up, one leg lift. Here we go. One bend of these. Push up. Leg lift, push up, leg lift, modification, you're on your knees, push up, leg lift, push up, leg lift. You can even be up against the wall, okay? So same thing, you do your push up, up against the wall, kick, and kick, okay? Same exercise, you're just modifying, okay? That's all right. We're about halfway there, guys. Hang on. Keep doing those push ups. Lift, lift, come on. Whew. Just take it one rep at a time. Keep that good form, tuck that pelvis under, abs tight, glutes tight. Last few seconds, get one more rep in, and let's flip it over. Let's do those tricep dips, so on your butt. Okay, fingertips facing your butt. Lift that butt slightly off the floor, bending at the elbows. Push them back and up. Push the elbows back and up. Now, elbows should be staying straight, okay? They're not flaring out to the side. Keep them right close to your body. That's how you really target your triceps, okay? Come down and up, down and up. Remember, the motion is from your elbows, not your hips. Big difference in the muscles that we're working. Modification, hold it, okay? You can hold it here or do the overhead tricep extension if the dips are too much on your shoulders, okay? Listen to your body. If it hurts, it's too much. So modify. Don't push through the pain. You're just going to make things worse. Whatever it is that's going on. Last four, three, two, and one. Butt down. 
feet up at the hardest level and let's rotate side to side. Okay, drop your legs down to make it a little bit easier. Put your hands behind you and hold to make it even easier. Okay, if you want to add a little weight here, you can to challenge yourself. Just make it whatever level is going to work for you. Breathing. Come on, it's only a minute total here. We've got about 30 seconds left. 30 seconds will rest. Don't give up here. Keep moving slow and controlled. It's not fast like this, okay? You see a lot of people doing that. You're just going to hurt your spine. Slow and controlled. Ooh. Almost there. Last couple seconds. Rest is coming in five, four, three, two, and one, and rest. Woo! Nice work, everybody. Okay, we deserve some water after that. Everybody sit. Get some water here. Let me know how you're doing in the comments. Everybody feeling okay? Everybody can hear me all right? See me okay? All right, so take a much needed rest, breather. Okay, let's see. All right, Rosa's doing good, great. Awesome, he's doing good. Good, all right, our next set, same format. Three, two, one for our exercises. It's just some different exercises than what we did before, okay? So your first exercise, uh, this one, you can use weights if you really want to challenge yourself, but this exercise is going to be really great um, body weight as well, okay? So you decide. You can also start with weights and drop them later if you have to. It's going to be a reverse lunge like we did in the warm-up, okay? So you're down into this reverse lunge. You're going to push off your front leg, whatever leg that is, and as you come up, I want you to lift that back leg to work your butt and your hamstrings a little bit more. So lunge lift lunge lift we are going to do 90 seconds on one leg 90 seconds on the other leg so it is going to burn get ready our next exercise okay bent over rows so you're going to start with your palms facing in okay we're bending at the waist nice flat back okay so you're going to go ahead row squeeze those shoulder blades together drop them down at the bottom turn your grip palms facing out row okay back in flip your grip row turn them around flip your grip row so we're just alternating between uh the overhand and the underhand grip then we're going to go ahead and do a little shoulder series here so what we do for the shoulder series is it's kind of like three different exercises your arms start at a nice 90 degree angle okay so arms are going to come up to the side into goal post and then in for a fly and come back down, okay? So I'll walk you through that, guys, when we get there. And then our last exercise for our abs, we're gonna come back down to our mat, okay? Start in a high plank. We're gonna come down to our elbow, elbow, press up and up, okay? Those are our exercises. We ready? All right, let's do it. Okay, so we'll start with three minutes of legs, with those lunges, grab your weight, okay? So step back into that lunge position. We're going in three, two, and one. Here we go. So it's a lunge, and then at the top, kick that leg up. Lunge, kick, lunge, kick, lunge, kick, okay? Now, notice at the top of the lunge, it's a small kick. I'm not arching my back, okay, or throwing myself. If you do that, you're going to hurt your lower back, okay? It's just a small motion. Stay on that one leg. Burn it up. Burn it up. You're going to feel this in your front or your standing leg, right in the quad. You're also going to feel it, of course, in your butt and hamstring of that back leg. Nice. Chest stays tall. Don't collapse down. Shoulders down and back. Woo! Yeah. Are you feeling it? I bet you are. Whew. More than halfway through on this leg, and then we'll switch sides. Feel the burn. 
Remember, if it gets to be too much, drop those weights. Still a very good exercise, just body weight. Okay? Good. We have 20 seconds. Woohoo! Come on. Push, push. Yeah. Hang on to it. Last few seconds on this side. Then we're going to switch. We're going to do the other leg for another 90 seconds in three, two, and one. Let's switch. Other leg. Same thing. Lunge. Take it back. Lunge. Take it back and up. Down. And up. Down. And up. Squeeze that butt. Remember, don't throw your back out. If you're feeling this in your lower back, okay, as you kick that leg back, you're not engaging your butt muscle enough. So really squeeze, squeeze the butt cheek so that you're not just throwing your back. Very big difference. All right, what do we got for time here? We've got about 45 seconds. We are halfway there. Woohoo! Hang on, guys. Come on. Breathe. Fight through this. I know it's a tough one. You feel that burn. Take rest when you need it. We're going to get there together. We're going to work those arms next. Give those legs a little bit of a break. Nice. Ten seconds to go. Final 10, get those last couple reps in. Come on, come on. Four, three, two, and one. Woo, shake out those legs. All right, bending at the hips, nice flat back. We row overhand, turn those dumbbells out or those weights out, underhand, okay? So we're just alternating back and forth. Pull and bring it down. Pull and bring it down. Pull. Now, when you pull, squeeze the shoulder blades together, okay? Think about having like a ball right in between your shoulder blades, the ball there that you're trying to squeeze as you pull those arms back, okay? Keep your shoulders down away from the ears, okay? No hunching like this and don't round, okay? Bring your chest out, shoulders down and back, okay? Last 15 seconds. You got this, guys. Come on, come on. Woo! Going into the shoulder series next to work those smaller muscles in your shoulders. Ready? And switch. Nice and tall. 90 degree angle with those arms. Here we go. Bring them out, up, in, and then back down. Same way they went up. Okay? Keep those arms in a nice 90 degree angle the whole time. Now, this is a tough exercise. Based on your shoulders and how mobile and flexible they are, you might struggle with just body weight, just going through the motions. And if you are, then just drop those weights. Get rid of them. Go through the motions. These are some small, delicate muscles in the shoulders. If you're tight and not very mobile, you don't want to add weight to that, okay? We just want to stretch them out get them moving. So just stay here. Perfectly fine. Last five seconds. Hold on, hold on. We're going down to that plank position in three, two, and one. Drop it down. Let's head into that plank. Start. High plank position. Okay, high plank. We're going to come down, elbow, other elbow, back up and up. Drop it down to elbow, elbow, Back up and up. So just alternating arms here, holding that nice strong plank. You can be on your knees for this. That's perfectly fine, okay? Whatever works for you. If the arms are too much, just hold the plank. That's fine as well, okay? Try not to wiggle those hips side to side. Keep your body nice and straight, hips level, okay? Don't rock. That's how you really work those abs is to try and fight that rotation that your body wants to do as you shift your weight side to side, okay? Last few seconds. Then we're going to go back into your favorite exercise, those lunges that you love so much. 
or you'll love it a couple days when your booty looks really good. Three, two, and one. Let's come on back up. Let's go to the lunges. One more round of these exercises, guys. Here we go. Dumbbells by your side if you're using them or any kind of weight. Lunge, kick, lunge, and kick. Just think about that leg going straight back. Small motion. Squeeze the butt. Keep that chest tall. Lots to think about here. It's a very dynamic exercise. Working a lot of muscles. That's why it's so good for you. You got it, guys. Come on, push through this. Push. We made it through 90 seconds on each side last time. We can do this again. Take rest when you need it. Okay, if it's really painful, the difference between uh, pain and then just fighting through, you know, some weakness there. Make sure you know the difference. If it's pain, slow it down, take a break. Okay, and pick back up again. You've got this. Woo, we're 30 seconds to go on this leg. Good, good. Keep that form, don't lose it. I know you're getting tired, don't get floppy. That's how you injure yourself. Okay, take a break instead. 10 seconds. Fight, deep breath. Come on, you can get one more rep. Yes, you can. And switch, shake it out, other side. Lunge and kick, lunge and kick. Good. This is too much for you. You can always just be here, okay? Just doing the kick back if the lunge bothers your knees. You got it. We're doing great, guys. We're going to get there together. Stronger together. Isn't that what we're saying, right? Come on. Push those legs. Push. Work that backside. Come on. You've been sitting on it too much. We all have. Got to work it. Hey, a little more than halfway there, my friends. Keep it going. Take rest if you need to. I need a little water. Right back into it. Come on. We are at 20 seconds to go. How many more of these can you do? Last time you guys do this exercise. Fight to the end. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, shake out those legs. Let's do those rows. Bending at the waist. Overhand grip. Row. Flip your grip. Underhand. Row. Flip again. Row. And back in. Flip again. Row. Awesome. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Nice flat back. Keep those heads level with the rest of your spine. So don't drop it down. Look way up. Okay? Nice and neutral. Only a minute here. One minute, and then we're going to go into that shoulder exercise. Pull, pull. Breathing. Come on, you got this, guys. You got it. We're going to get there. Pull, pull. This is really bothering your back. Just do a split stance. It's a little bit easier on the back, or just stand more upright, okay? That's fine, too. Last couple seconds, three, two, and one. Now stand nice and tall, arms that nice 90 degree angle. Here we go, bring them up, into goal post, in for fly, back down, same way you went up. Repeat that again, bring it up, goal post, fly, and back down. And remember, you don't have to use those weights, okay? Just going through the motions is perfectly fine. Okay, but notice how when I'm going through this, look at my shoulders. They're not way up here. Drop them down, okay? If you're hunching them, you're making the problem in your shoulders a lot worse, okay? And it's not worth doing this exercise if you can't get your shoulders down, okay? And if that's you, I want you to stay here, okay? You've got 10 seconds to go. 10 seconds. Woo, last couple reps. Come on. Get ready to go down to the floor, 
into our plank in three, two, and one. Drop it down to that plank. High plank position to start. Nice wide stance with your feet. Drop it down, down, press up, up. Remember, you can be on your knees. Down, down, press up, up. And you can also just hold the plank, okay? You can hold it here. Remember not to wiggle your hips back and forth, okay? Keep it nice and steady, level with the ground as you come up and down out of that plank. Woo, push through it. Come on, guys. We're almost there. Almost to that rest. Breathe, breathe. Ten seconds. Don't give up now. Rest is coming. Come on, fight to the end. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now you can rest. Nice work, guys. Much deserved rest. Towel off. Everybody sip. Hope you guys are doing good out there. Let me know in the chat box how you're feeling. You feeling okay? You guys ready to do one more round? Good news is it's only one, one circuit, one time through, not twice, okay? Okay, so our very last circuit, just one time through. Starts with a single leg reverse deadlift. I'm gonna turn to the side on this one. This one is slow and controlled, meant to work balance and meant to work your backside. You're gonna hinge at the hips, reach those weights, right past your knee, okay, nice flat back. If you fall over like I just did, pick yourself back up, okay? And then come right back up. You can lift your knee if you have that stability. If not, just keep your leg on the ground. And then repeat, same leg. We're gonna stay on one leg for 90 seconds, then we're gonna switch. Okay, our upper body exercises. Basic, start off, bicep curls, okay? I might add in some pulses, or just some top motion, but that's the basic exercise. Next, we're gonna go down to your mat, okay? And on your mat, we're gonna do just the basic chest press. Dumbbells right above your chest, drop them down and back up, the chest press, okay? And then we're gonna finish with what I like to call a double crunch. Hands behind your head, legs bent to 90 degree angle. You're gonna crunch both your legs and your upper body in and then extend them out. Crunch it in, extend it out, okay? So, last round, one time through. You guys ready? All right, let's get this going. Both dumbbells, single leg reverse deadlift, starting in three, two, one. Here we go. So start, I recommend, on your non-dominant leg, which is the leg that you don't want to start on because you're not as strong on that leg. Okay, so we're going slow here. Hinge at the hips. Notice my back is nice and flat. I'm not rounded or slouching, okay? And then come right back up, slow and controlled. I find it very helpful to find something kind of diagonally in front of me, my eyesight, that is not moving, like maybe a speck on the floor, okay? And stare at that, focus in on it, and don't lose that focus. That's how we get good balance. And now pay attention to your form, shoulders down and back. Lead with your chest, okay? Your standing leg stays relatively straight, but not locked out, okay? Just a slight bend in the knee. Good, we've got 30 seconds to go on this leg. This is more of a mentally challenging exercise than physically challenging for some of us. Last couple seconds. You lose your balance, no big deal. Just pick back up and start again. And switch, other leg, other leg. All right, so I started on my bad leg, now I'm going my good leg. So that's a plus. Whew. Stand nice and tall at the top. 
As you stand up, really squeeze the butt of that standing leg, push your hips through, come up with a purpose. Don't just go through the motions, really focus and get that form. It's such a great exercise, especially if you really struggle with a lot of lower back pain. This can really help to just work that backside a little more so you can learn how to use it more appropriately. Good, we are about halfway there, guys. Stay focused. Keep that gaze on that little speck on the floor or that little piece of furniture, whatever's straight out in front of you. And just get through this exercise. Feeling balanced and focused after. Very good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Last 10 seconds. Get one or two more reps in. Okay. Last three, two, and one. Standing nice and tall. Let's do some good old bicep curls. Arms come all the way up, all the way down. Full range of motion. So weights come right to the shoulders, right back down to the thighs. To the shoulders, right back down to the thighs. Very good, guys. Awesome. Keep your core nice and strong. Don't throw yourself back, okay? You're not doing anything for yourself there other than hurting your back. Okay, keep yourself tall and strong. 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go. On this next rep, hold it right at 90. We'll hold it right here. Pulse, right up to the top and back down to 90. Up to the top, back down to 90. Pulse it here. Good, do a few right here. And now full range, last few seconds, all the way up, all the way down. Come on, guys. Feel that burn. Push through it. Push. Three, two, and one. Down to the mat. Let's do some chest press. Okay, so down to your mat, dumbbells or weights right above your chest. Feet flat on the ground. Arms come out to the side and press them back up. Out and up. Out. And up. Nice, guys. Nice and basic. Basic upper body moves, but very effective. Breathing. Good. You got this. Try to get those elbows to touch the ground as you can. Woo. Keep those dumbbells right in line with your chest, okay? They're not way up by your head. They're right with the nipple line. Okay, keep those shoulders down. 10 seconds, get ready to go into our very final exercise, our last minute with that double crunch. And then we're gonna stretch right after that. In three, two, and one. Put those dumbbells aside, hands behind your head, legs up, 90 degree angle, crunch upper body and legs in, extend those legs out. Crunch them in, extend them out. Add those legs, Bend out. Keep that lower back pressed into the mat, okay? Don't let that lower back arch up. Very important. Otherwise, you're going to feel it in your lower back. You'll feel pain. Maybe not right now, but probably tomorrow or later tonight. You got this. Extend and tuck it in. Extend and tuck it in. Woo! Come on, feel that burn. This is it, guys. You're almost done. This is not the time to give up. We're going to get there. Last few seconds. Three, two, and one. Awesome job. Bring your arms over your head, legs flat on the ground. Extend yourself nice and long. Pull yourself apart. Take some nice deep breaths. You did it. You got through your muscle burn workout. Good for you guys. Bring those legs right into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Relax the back. Relax the stomach. Rock gently side to side. Very nice. Now we're going to go ahead and extend your left leg out. 
nice and long. If that's too much, you can keep it bent, okay? Your right leg is gonna extend straight up towards the ceiling. You can grab around your thigh, or if you have the ability, grab around your calf or your ankle or even your foot if you're that flexible, and pull that leg into your chest. You should feel a nice stretch right in your hamstring. We use those a lot today. So let's stretch them out. Just breathing. Now take this leg, drop it down to the office, opposite side of the body. Now reach your palm away from that leg. Try to keep both shoulders on the mat, okay? And turn towards your, your right palm. Good, you should feel this stretch all down your spine and your butt, your hip muscles. Muscles, again, we used quite a bit today. All those lunges and squats. And now slowly bring yourself back to center. Take your right leg, cross it over your left leg, pull that left leg into your chest. Almost like you're making like an upside down number four, okay? And feel a good stretch in your hip joint. Awesome. Let's drop those legs down and let's go ahead and do the other side. So left leg, extend it straight up, grab around the thigh, grab around the calf, pull it into your chest, feel that nice stretch in those hamstrings. Continue to take those nice deep breaths. It's going to help get lots of oxygen into your muscles so they can recover. Hopefully not be too sore tomorrow. And now take this left leg, cross it over your body, drop it to the right side, and reach your left arm away. Turn your gaze to your left palm. Great, and bring it back to center. Slowly take your left leg. Cross it over your right leg, make that upside down number four, and pull that leg into your chest. Awesome. All right, go ahead and release that. I want you to flip over. Last stretch we're going to go into is child's pose. So we're going to come onto our knees. Make your legs nice and wide, toes together. You're going to sit back onto your heels. Reach those arms out in front of you and just relax your body, like melt into the floor, bringing your forehead down to the mat, trying to get your butt as close to your heels as you can, and just take a few deep breaths here in this pose. And go ahead and walk those hands in. Come on up from there. Take one more big inhale. Reach those arms up and overhead. And exhale. You are all set. Awesome job. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me for this muscle burn class. I hope you enjoyed it.